combinations that we did today. Our first one, we started center and we were using our hip circles to turn to each side and do a shoulder roll once we got there. So our hip circles, if we're going to our right, our hip circles are going clockwise. We did two hip circles, which would be a four count, and then we did our shoulder roll for the other four count. To make it a little bit prettier, you could um, frame how you're moving by having your right hand extending out when you're going to the right. Left hand is just touching the, the side of your head as you do your circles. And then your arms are already pretty much there to do the shoulder roll. And then when we go back the other way, just switching your arms and switching the direction of our circle and shoulder roll on this side. What followed that circle and shoulder roll sequence was to do mayas with a roll up. So when we do our mayas, we're doing like a vertical figure eight. I'm stepping up, out, down, and in with the right. Same thing with the left, same thing with the right, and then my accent to roll up. I'm tucking up my pelvis, squeezing in my abs, lifting the rib cage at the end. And then we would follow that with the same thing on the other side, left, right, left, roll up. So that was our full combo one. We were going circle, circle, shoulder roll, circle, circle, shoulder roll, Maya's right, left, right, roll up, left, right, left, roll up. Now our combo number two, we were going to have this right hip out towards the audience, um, we're doing a hip drop. Now, if you want to keep it simple, you're just dropping your hip four times. If you want to take it up a notch, you are dropping and releasing. So every other drop, your foot is releasing. To turn to the other side, rather than stepping back with our right, like we've done a lot of times, we actually did a little corkscrew turn. So it's kind of like a pivot turn with my feet. I'm thinking of my right goes to the front, my left starts pivoting, I come back through to the back and turn there. What makes it look a little fancier is that my hips are making a hip circle as I do it. So I'm making a counterclockwise hip circle, counterclockwise hip circle as I turn around. So definitely to keep it the lower level, you could just pivot and pivot. But if you're ready to take it up, put, add that layer of the hip circle hip circle onto it. And now we're on our left hip to the audience. We're going to do the same drop over here. So either four drops or two drop release. And then instead of doing the corkscrew just to switch it up a little bit, we're just going to do a big old hip circle to get ourselves back to center. From the center position, since we went forward a good bit with our mayas, we're going to start by backing up some with an Egyptian hip step. So our Egyptian hip lifts up in the front with each step we take. And to make it a little fancier, we accent it with our arm, the same arm and the same hip. So we're gonna start backing up with the right, left, right, left. Just to give ourselves a little bit of backup to account for that um, forward motion that we did in combo one. And then our last part of combo two is gonna be a hip lift to the right and the left. So our hip, Left hip is going to lift when we're going right. It goes up, up. Our right hip lifts when we go to the left, up, up. And their arm movement that we were doing, if you want to, if you want to keep it lower level, you can definitely just move with your hips, or you can just do a little, a little frame or a little dive in. Then if you want to switch it up a little bit to the right, we were doing our hands in this position. My um, left hand is touching my right cheek. My right arm is extended. And then coming back to the left, I move my hand to my other cheek and my right hand is going to my elbow. So that whole combination from start to finish for combo two starts with our hip drops, drop, release, drop, release, corkscrew turn to the other side, drop, release, drop, release, big hip circle back to the center, Back it up with an Egyptian step, right, left, right, left. And now we are hip lifting to the right, hip lifting to the left.
And with the music that we use, we can just alternate back and forth between those two combinations about three times. There's going to be a few spots where it's more of a heavy drum beat, and on those places, we're going to do a double hip bump just to kind of keep our time and, and be ready for the next thing. So our double hip bump, if I'm going right, I'm actually moving my weight out onto my right hip, double bump, left, double, right, double, left, double. So just a little double hip bump to kind of keep time in between those places. 